Well, we're here in the truck stop again. This guy here parked next to me. We're in uh, Virginia, and it is hot as heck here. He looked really unhappy. He says his air conditioning is not working. So I'm like, hey, we got some time. I don't load till tomorrow. He don't deliver till tomorrow. Turns out we're going to the same place about the same time. I says, uh, you want to fix this thing? We'll get at her. So let me show you what we did here to try to get this air conditioning going so this guy doesn't have to suffer. Been running all throughout the hot parts of the country for two weeks with no air conditioning. So um, this isn't by any means perfect, but it's going to get him feeling a lot better. And uh, even though it ain't perfect, heck, for the for the amount of money we're saving, not going to a dealer and sitting there for three days and then, you know, $2,000 for the repair. Uh, when he gets back home with the things that he's going to learn, he could redo the whole thing himself and still be, you know, better than $1,000 ahead. So let me show you what kind of parts we picked up here. So we ran down to AutoZone about a mile down the road. We rented a vacuum pump and a manifold gauge set. We got our tools that we carry. And then down the road was a Freightliner dealer. So we only got one hose that's bad. It's this one here. Um, it's got like a, can you see that? It's got a pinhole leak in the hose. We tried sealing it up just for temporarily, but he said it didn't work. So we grabbed that hose and for good measure, grabbed a couple other ones here. We're gonna, just gonna just replace them all. So we got these hoses. He got a new receiver dryer, which was smart. Uh, good thing to do. And then we just went to AutoZone. Picked up. We're gonna have to do this the poor man's way because uh, you know we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Picked up our cans of Freon, some oil, UV dye, and then just this applicator here. Um, so technically, you know, you're supposed to evacuate the refrigerant, which. To be honest, there's no refrigerant left in that system. It's it's done. Uh, it's been sitting empty for a while. So not too concerned about that. But yes, technically you have to recover all the Freon. This is uh, not my decision here. This is a decision of the owner of the truck, so don't come back at me uh, about any refrigerant leaks. Uh, I'm just telling you what we're doing. And then obviously we'll pull a vacuum on the system with that uh, pump here and recharge it kind of the poor man's way just out of some cans. So Bernie here is going to turn the wrenches himself, learn how to do this. Um, he just cracked that line, you can hear it hissing, you can see that refrigerant, where's the thing, leaking out of there just a little bit. So we're going to let that system bleed down. Safety glasses are a must when doing this, do not get refrigerant in your eyes. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let the, the pressure bleed off of this uh, a little bit here. Gonna just put a towel over that hose just in case there's a little bit of gas in there. See, we got a lot of pressure, we got some pressure to bleed off. Maybe I'll suck that down with the vacuum pump. All right, so here's the deal we got these two lines replaced to the condenser. Uh, coming back here to the receiver dryer, we got this hose changed, and um, the only thing, the only problem we ran into is they didn't have this hose for us to buy, so we had to reuse it, and we were short an O-ring, so we had to reuse this one O-ring, which you don't really want to do, but um, look at this poor boy here. Last week he was 285 pounds. And after two weeks of running around with no air conditioner, he sweat off 147 pounds. Am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, yeah, you're right. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> we're just gonna take a shot in the dark and see if uh, we can get it to hold the vacuum. So what I did is I threw the vacuum pump on it for about a half hour, and rather than put the vacuum on it for about four hours and then see if it holds a vacuum, I just drew it down for 30 minutes or so, shut it off, and. You know, we see the needle here where it's at. I'm going to let her sit for about 20-30 minutes and just see if vacuum holds before I waste any more time uh, pulling a vacuum on it. And then I'll know for sure, hey, we're good to go. We'll vacuum it for a few more hours and then charge it up. But uh, it went pretty good. It only took us, I don't know, half hour to get those hoses changed. Well, we got her all vacuumed down. Putting this in the poor man's way, but just fine. This truck takes uh, 4.13 pounds, which is uh, 66 ounces, so 
be exactly uh, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half cans. If I'm right. I'll do that math again. And then uh, a little oil, and uh, I'm gonna put some dye in it too. So I'm gonna add it in. Watching my pressure gauge here. Make sure we don't get pressure too high. And we'll be good. Well, we're 81 degrees outside air temperature, and it looks like we got her down to about 43 degrees here. My thermometer there, it's jumping around just a little bit. I was hoping to be under 40, but um, we'll take 43. We're sitting in a hot parking lot here on pavement. What do you think, Bernie? We're going to call this a win? Yeah, yeah. It's a Are lot you? than it was. <laughs> you think you'll sleep better tonight? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can see, once again, the boy's skin and bones. He sweated off 146 pounds in the last two weeks. And uh, we'll try to get some weight back on that boy. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.